Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of WTF What the Fish. Before we get started, make sure you click on that subscribe button and also click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Before I go on and make this video, I just want to make it clear that I am not attacking somebody. This person has been already in the news. I really don't want you people to go and give hate to this individual. It's just for general knowledge what is going on. This already happened. Give you a little bit of update. Second thing, I don't have phobia of any community. I'm not transphobic. I'm not homophobic. I have lots of friends that belong to the LGBTQ community. They're very nice people. They're nothing like this individual that I'm going to talk about. They're not crazy. Cringy, they're not weird they're really not ridiculous so as you all know first impression is the last impression so I wanted to pick the most cringiest person that will make your skin crawl and I didn't have to think too hard so I went and started thinking and after thinking for just five seconds I came up with a name so let me introduce you to with drum roll Jessica Yanni, aka Jonathan Yanni. Jessica identifies as a trans woman. So you're like, okay, Molly, this individual is a trans woman. So where is the WTF part? For those of you who've been living under a rock and don't know who Jessica Yanni is, tighten up your seatbelt because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Jessica Yanni came into news because she took some beauticians to court on the grounds of discrimination. So let me tell you in easier words what happened. So this individual called around asking them for waxing services. Now, any other day, you know what, people would be like, okay, sure, we would wax you. So this individual was asking these beauticians to get a full Brazilian wax. For anybody that does not know what Brazilian wax is, this is when you wax everything in your pubic area. If you're a female, on your JJ, And if you're a male, on your balls and your dick. Now, a lot of these women were immigrant women. Now, if you're Canadian, you know our laws, especially the human rights courts, aka kangaroo courts. I can't believe that the human rights courts would actually entertain this but they did hey you know this is why we are people kind so meanwhile this case was going the women jessica had sued had to actually shut down their businesses and let me tell you these are not like big businesses they were individual these women working from their home trying to make a living trying to make a little bit extra income now being from pakistan if you ask me that if your aunt who is actually in the beauty business would wax my balls and dick i will tell you straight up Mother chot ke bache. No, she's not going to do that for you. No, because she performs services of those kind only for foreign females. I, however, am a different generation, okay? I've spent more time in Canada and I actually have had an experience when I had my own salon. But we're going to leave that for another video because that's very interesting. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to see that in a video and if you want to hear that story. Anyways, moving on to Jessica. So if you're still here and you're like, this is not WTF. Wait. So when Jessica sued these women, of course, it made headlines all over the world. This was like the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard in your life. That's what makes it so cringy. When all this drama was going on and internet was going crazy after Jessica Yanni and how ridiculous this thing sounded, Blair White, who is a YouTuber and also a trans woman, invited Jessica for an interview. I'm going to put the link in the description. It is very interesting. Jessica in this video also shows a taser to Blair White, which is illegal in Canada, by the way. I don't need to. I don't need to be scared of my own house. Fucking attack! I'm like, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and she didn't even get arrested. There was no consequences for that. I know. If you're still saying, Molly, oh, WTF? Where's the WTF? There is more. So when this case came out, we also found out how Jessica is hosting topless teenage party for girls and boys. And Jessica has been sending some teenage kids some very, very inappropriate messages. It's by Jessica that she has been posting, trying to lure in young teenagers to their topless pool party. Like, why would you want young teenagers that are 13, 14, 12 years old at a pool party and you want them topless? There's something really cringy about this person and it just gives me the shit and it just crawls up in my skin so if you're still sitting here and you're like okay you know what molly whatever this is not wtf what are you talking about wait oh you wait look at this tweet that jessica yanni tweeted on her twitter jessica is talking about period so now i would like to challenge jessica next time i have my period and you have your period let's record each other okay let's see the pain that we go through because for you to just toss that around <laughs> i kept my period it's very offensive to me as a born female because i know what happens when you get your period my back breaks my cramps are so bad i can barely get out of bed you 
you making a joke about something that is so serious be very offensive to me okay sweetheart now if you're thinking that only jessica is the one that thinks like this no there's a whole community of transgender women out there that think that they get their period <laughs> I want to start a period challenge with all these women to record their periods. I want to see you bleed. I want to see your pads. I want to see your tampons. I want to see you suffer how we suffer. So if this hasn't cringed you and you haven't felt like you want to go bang your head against the wall, yeah, like I do. Well, wait, there is more. Then there was another tweet from Jessica. Let's read this tweet. So now she wants to take a gynecologist okay to human rights court because they refused to see this individual i have a news for you you know in the medical field we have foot doctor we have dentist we have ear specialist for different things we have doctors that are specialists in vaginas and then we have doctors that are specialists in balls and aesthetic so if you're gonna ask to go see a specialist that is a specialist in JJ, they will know nothing about you why would they want to see you you don't have a vagina you have balls and dick it's okay you want to feel like a woman that's fine but that doesn't change your body parts and for you if you were to get some kind of dick cancer you need to go see a person that is specialized in dick you're not gonna go see a gynecologist so stop with this cringiness craziness <sighs> But it doesn't end there. It doesn't end there. Wait for it. Another thing that this individual portrays or is that this individual is disabled. There is cases you see this individual in wheelchair or with a walker. But then you also see this woman beating up journalists. There has been two cases where this individual has attacked two journalists. Once with a cane. Get out. Get away. Don't you. Away. You better not. You better not. No. You may con- And the second time, punch this journalist in the face. Hey, don't go. Hey. Okay, thank God that our human rights court, aka kangaroo court, like even they were- Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Yeah, so Jessica lost this case. And now she has to reimburse all these women for all the money that they have lost. All your prayers have been answered. So the last I heard about Jessica was this individual was charged and arrested for abuse. Remember that journalist from Rebel Media that this individual punched? Yeah, that's the charge. Well, we'll see what happens in the court, but this one individual has driven so many people insane. And at the end, my opinion is that it is not Jessica's fault. It is actually our government's fault. It is the laws that we have here that gives them the power to do this. People kind. A case this ridiculous that it even makes it to the court. And they actually go on and proceed on this complaint. People kind. I mean, this should have been thrown out of the court right away. This was so ridiculous. People kind. Why why would you even entertain a thought like that? But hey, it's Canada. It's 2020. We are all inclusive. People kind. All right, guys, that is it for the first episode of WTF. Let me know in the comment section what you think about today's episode. Let me know if Jessica Yanni was a good choice for making our first video. Also, let me know what you think about this setup. Do you like me sitting in the tub? Do you think I look good? Do you think lighting is good? Your feedback really helps me improve and bring better content for you. Once again, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode of WTF. Bye-bye. Okay, you know what, Molly? I have more for you. All right. I think that's it. But wait. What the fuck? So anyways, with that out of the way, let's get into it.